Oh, it's me again, <laughs> broadcasting live from the San Diego Convention Center. Josh Brown, Energy Storage Manager with SolarGen. We're at booth 2525 with Solar. Uh, Dylan Hillman from Solar, nice to see you. He is the Senior Manager for Training here at Solar, which by the way, all of the training benefits are available for free. It's free resource uh, when you utilize Solar Technologies through us here at SolarGen. So if you'd like to find out more, get a one-on-one -on -one training with Dylan and their training team. All you have to do is email me storage at solargen.net. That's storage at solargen.net. I love Solar. Solar is the Swiss Army knife of inverters. That's right. Grid tie, grid tie battery backup, grid tie no storage, emergency backup, whole home backup, generator, generator and uh, inverter only, generator, inverter, PV array solar, energy storage, standalone storage, whole home backup, and CNI solutions, all customizable, available as a part of your clean energy portfolio right here at Solar. Go to booth 1523 if you'd like to talk to a solar vendor. A representative to get you set up uh, with a solar solution today or email me storage <coughs> at solargen.net. We again are here with Dylan uh, at the solar booth. Dylan, I love coming to your booth. I love your product. I love your team. Amazing team here. Oh my god. I'm Tom Brandon last night hanging out with him, Davna, your whole team there, Andy, John Cromer. Yeah, that's what you got to. How, are you going to keep hiring the smartest people in the business or what? Oh my God. That's the plan. It never ends, right? Okay, so we're going to talk in just a moment about the 15K Solar that has the 200 amp internal transfer switch that offers true whole home backup uh, for your customers when paired with the correctly sized energy storage solution. All of this available at SolarZen. But first, Dylan, can we talk a little bit about this is a wonderful, beautiful piece of technology? Available at SolarGen. Right. Commercial yeah, industrial yeah. solutions, high voltage from Solark, not just the inverter, but a total package for your commercial industrial high voltage energy storage needs as well. Dylan, let our viewers know what in the wide, wide world of sports so, is this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, this is actually our L3 HVR 60 kW mop. So, it's going to be an outdoor rated cabinet complete with air conditioning and heating plus double fire suppression. And this is going to be a high voltage system, so it's set up for 60 kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours, so five per pack, there's 12 of those, and a BMS as well. Um, and essentially, you'll be able to fire this in two different ways. Uh, you do our 60K, you do a ball in series for a 600 volt pack, or you can do uh, two packs in here that are done in parallel, or a 300 volt pack for our 30K configuration. The 30 or the 60K, that just count for the side of the room. And then you can stack up to six of these outdoor cabinets for inverter, and then six inverters. So this system can be very large. And then we have an indoor equivalent version of this system without this big old uh, outdoor rated cabinet that can get even larger than you Wow, wow. And in California, I don't know if folks in California, it's tough lately with solar, right? How many people have you had to lay off? Do you know anybody in solar that's had to lay off employees? It's been a tough time. I promise you, there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's called energy storage. I'm serious. Energy storage is the salvation for your business and for this industry. And if you don't embrace it, good luck. Maybe find something else to do. Close your business down. It's been a great time. Uh, you know, put it all in the memory box because that's what it is. If you're solar only, you're a one trick pony. Energy storage solutions are not just backup. They're not just some scheme that you use to play some game with the utility. You can actually put the power back in the hands, literally, in the hands of your customers so they can control their own clean energy de uh, destiny and save money. Oh, yeah. It is larger commercial models. So they do all the same tricks as our, our residential models. So we do peak shaving, time of use, all that good stuff. You buy in all your settings, whatever you need to do to uh, reduce your bill. Really good value proposition for commercial models. Now, everybody asks me this, and I know the answer. But I'm going to put you on the hot spot, Dylan. So he's going to let you know. I want you all to be confident in the solutions that we offer you here at Solagent. Again, email me storage at solagent.net to find out more. Okay. But when it comes to your products, like, like, do you have the ability to 
mentioned peak shaving, time of use. Like, there's a lot of flexibility there. Most people say, like, I want a Tesla. And they think Tesla on their wall is just going to power their whole house because of the, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, misnomers that are in the media, the branding out there. And Tesla may be right for you. It may not be. I'm not saying it isn't. It, it may be. But everybody just thinks, oh, Tesla. Well, in all reality, you've done some comparisons of solar versus a Tesla Powerwall. And there is a big difference. Would you mind talking about some of those uh, differentiators versus Tesla? Uh, so, I mean, Tesla does look really cool, given that. But yeah, in terms of flexibility, you have to go with Tesla, you're going to get exactly what Tesla gives you. So, you got to do their quite a lot more pack uh, on the output side. I know the new one, I haven't actually had a lot of chance to look at the new Powerwall 3 quite yet. But I think they added like an MCT. But we already had the MCT built in, so we're going to give you the choice of any battery you want. Go with lithium iron phosphate like the one is, um, instead of having to go with the car battery style that Tesla usually puts in their packs. So longevity there, uh, freedom of choice. You can also add on to the system afterwards. So if you already have like a Tesla solar install, and you need to add a battery to it. You don't have to use a Tesla power wall necessarily. You can put a solar on there, pick whatever battery you like, add on to it later. Or of course, you can always use our system without a battery ahead of time. So that's kind of the majority of it. We also have one peak power. So per unit, the lower 15k models can go 510 AC by itself. Um, so pretty cool there. You're gonna need several power walls to do that kind of thing. So. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Rewind. <laughs> if I want you to say that again, you're going to need several. Not slow motion, Josh. Rewind. You're gonna need several power walls to accomplish the same thing. Yeah. Firing up a 510 AC unit, it can be done. But if a salesperson is saying, yeah, one test power wall, your whole house, have a great day. No, that's, that's not real. But um, 115K, you can really run a lot of power. A lot of, oh, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, like my house, I've got like a 2,000 square foot house in Texas. I have 115K, it powers everything, 510 AC unit, the water heater, everything in the house, never overloaded. Yeah. Neighbors have to sell me on the grid. You know? Yeah, if you have a bigger house, we have a lot more stuff in it. I'm not saying you can always do it with 115, but sometimes you might need to. But uh, still, the power output on this is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I know you said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Soulwork is battery agnostic. That's right. They don't pick favorites. Yeah, 48 volts. Even if you have a 48 volt lead acid system. I mean, you, you want to go and pull the caps up, put distilled water in, and get the hydrometer out, and you want to do that? Yeah, if you want to do that, you can. You can, right? Yeah, you absolutely can. We have an automatic temperature, uh, temperature all the stuff you need for the lead acid system. You know, you can use lithium iron phosphate, which is the most common. Uh, you can use it with or without columns. Um, I've even seen, seen people do, like, the nickel iron batteries, and a few other weird ones out there, car batteries. Whatever you want to do. Um, oh, and some inverters are real finicky with generators. Syncing up, and it's got to be a right, the right type of generator. And I mean, there are issues sometimes with that. Or some systems that are inverter systems require a special AGS unit, auto generator stuff. Like all these other pieces of the puzzle you need. It's so confusing. But with solar, I heard Tom said you guys brought some Harbor Freight generators back to the lab and got them to sync up. And they were like a dirty signal. Yeah, it's I, I've seen like two generators ever, and I've been at this company for eight years that I've never even had an issue with it. So basically, you can connect it to you want. The, we have generator controls built in, everything from like whenever you're going to trigger the generator to come on to uh, you know, any kind of automatic exercise that you want to do, seeking up to it. We have my favorite, one of my favorite features actually that we offer is something called generator peak shaving. And that's if you have an undersized generator, like you have an 8,000 watt generator, like a 15K model, we'll actually prevent that generator from overloading and we'll throttle our charging in real time to do stuff like air, air conditioner cycles. So very, very cool feature. Um, but yes, we have the generator very well. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, one last thing. Thank you for your time, Dylan. So Dylan Hillman um, from Solar. He's actually the senior manager for training, so I'm so glad that you're making yourself available for us. One last thing, EV charging is a big part of the clean energy portfolio, uh, Sologen, your clean energy solution provider. Uh, again, email me, storage at solagen.net. We can help you with these solutions from Solar. 
EV charging is a big part of that. EV charging is expanding. Um, I know you don't have the EV charger out yet, right. but there is a way to tie into the 15K somehow through an AC input or, or, or I, mean, I don't yeah. want to say this the wrong way. EV charging, solar converters, there's a way to take advantage of the technology. Tell us how. Sure, yeah. So, I mean, if you have a level one or a level two power charger, of course, you're going to be able to power that with one of our inverters. Uh, you know, 15K has got a lot of power to it. You know, 40, 50, 60 amp charger, if you want to throw it on there, have at it. Um, we do later this year, the you alluded to, have a big DC charger coming out. Of course, the end of the year, probably Q4. But that's going to be a 25 kilowatt DC to DC uh, bi-directional fast charger. Uh, we'll also be able to do uh, level two charging at 9.6 kW. But the cool part with that one is it will tie straight into the higher voltage systems, and it's going to talk to your car and say, "Hey, are you a 360 volt battery? Or are you a 900 volt battery?" It's got a buck boost inside, max the car voltage, and then it'll use the battery directly to either power your house or use your house to charge your car directly. What do you think about that? Am I am I crazy? I mean, these bi-directional chargers for EV, everybody's so excited that your whole home backup can be your car battery in your garage and you can have it work back and forth and it's such a great thing. But I'm always wondering if I want to drive somewhere, but I'm using the vehicle for that purpose, haven't I shortened my trip capability and the amount of miles I could go or, I mean, well, sure. But the thing is, these cars have massive batteries, right? Yeah. You're going to pull up like an F-150 Lightning and like 140 kilowatt hours of battery. Now, your entire house on average is going to pull like 20 to 40 kilowatt hours for a whole day. Uh, You're going to lose, what, 20, 30 miles to power your house for a few hours if you need to. And at worst, at nighttime, you can actually tell the solar to, to, to charge the battery back up again. Well, of course, of course. So you can always have a like, If you have solar panels on your house, you have a home battery on your house, you can always do the arbitrage, take the power out of your home battery, put it in your car, take it out of your car, put it in your home battery, or just straight up charge your car with your solar. So it just gives you all the flexibility. It's, it's gonna be a game changer though, because if you're buying these electric cars, you already have a massive battery, and that really reduces the requirement for the stationary battery that you're gonna have on your house. So if you have a household with two of these electric cars, I mean, that is way more battery than anybody currently has on their house. So I'm not too worried about the range thing, and I think it'll do a lot. Uh, for the, both for the stability of the grid and also for the affordability of the system. How cool is that? Uh, Dylan Hillman, um, uh, definitely a resource that you want to connect with at Solark. If folks would like to direct connect with you, how can they reach you, Dylan? Yeah, so uh, my email is dylan at solark.com, but um, send it to training at solark.com, they'll probably get a faster reply. Awesome. And we'll connect you with a one-on-one -on -one training as well. Uh, all inquiries at storage at solivent.net. Email me. I'm Josh Brum, Energy Storage Manager here at Solivent, your clean energy solution provider with Solar, available here at Solivent. Email me to find out more. Storage at solivent.net. That's storage at solivent.net.